Then we come into our electrical plan, uh, star grounding system here, which gives you really clean audio. Got lots of videos on that if you're interested in learning more about it. And then a typical wiring diagram here. This is a very simple wiring diagram. Sometimes we do more complex ones, but this is just basic, you know, two outlets, one star grounding, one regular, and no audio cabling, low voltage cabling through the walls, which was kind of nice for this to keep it simple. Uh, then we've got our good old uh, wiring plan from the elevation view. And I'm kind of gonna cr cruise through this a little bit quicker, and then we're gonna get to our HVAC system schedule. And the HVAC system schedule for this is what I've been doing more, and I'm going to definitely do this for my own system. In humid climates, I like to do the Brone ERV. We've got 150 CFM ERV here. Um, this is going to be our return baffle box system, and this is going to be our supply. This is the April Air dehumidifier. Either the 100 pint or 80 pint should work, depending on your dehumidification needs. And this is a separate baffle box system because it is running its own fan in there and I don't want to have to mix it in with this one increasing CFM loads and the lo size of our baffle boxes. So, you know, people never like this. It's a it's an unfinished garage over here, so it's not that big of a deal. But I did want to put this in so that this is like the luxury uh, mechanical system that I've really come down to. The only thing that would make this better is if you had a humidifier system in there as well, but that means running uh, a pipe, uh, water out to the studio, which we don't have. So